I am Per Eriksson. So here we are in Copenhagen, Denmark. Uh, and we're here to see Chef Jonathan Tan at the one Michelin star restaurant, Relais. They have a no-nonsense approach to the fine dining gastronomy experience, focusing on inventive simplicity with quality. They are a certified organic with a strong sustainability focus on product and produce. Let's meet uh, Jonathan and his team and hear more about seasonal farm-to-table cooking. If you were to explain your style of cooking for somebody that's never been here and eaten your fantastic food, what would you say? We focus on extremely high quality product to the point where we wanted to grow it ourselves. Uh, we always go with the seasons. Um, and we are not afraid to have outside inspiration. So we're not the, the usual Nordic restaurants. We have some Asian influence, Italian influence. And, uh, it's always very open. But we are product driven, simplicity, um, still very, very high technique um, and just ultra seasonal. How did you get into food in the first place? Um, I think I've always liked food when I was young. Uh, my family is Cantonese, uh, but my parents lived in Vietnam. So I was always uh, lucky to kind of get to eat both cuisines growing up. And that just brought on a curiosity to kind of go dining out more and kind of get into cooking, realizing there's this whole different world. And that kind of made me pursue the passion to become a chef. What in food was so inspiring for you? I think at the beginning it was uh, realizing the connection of different cultures. Uh, and it just was so new. And from there, after experiencing with it, it just seemed like a natural connection for myself. Where did your journey start into the kitchen? Um, it kind of started uh, just by myself. From there I decided to enroll myself in culinary school right after high school and then stuck with from there. During culinary school I was already um, going to school in the daytime and finding a job in kitchens in my city where I'm from just to be in a kitchen environment and luckily that led me eventually here to Copenhagen. Being like young and naive, I kind of applied to be a stage at Noma many years ago while I was still in culinary school. But luckily things worked out really well and I eventually managed to become part of the team at Noma and spending uh, almost three years there and that's when I met Christian. Christian was a sous chef at the time and when I left Noma, there was a talk of me coming with him to open Relay. So the experience from Noma uh, and then together with Christian starting Relay uh, from scratch, what were your philosophy? I think our main thing was there was quite a lot of us coming that worked together at Noma and we knew we had to out of respect for Noma because at the time a lot of people were getting onto the Nordic cooking movement and working with the wild foods. We wanted to go in the different direction. Um, we wanted to make still exciting gastronomic food, but do it uh, something more affordable, something more casual uh, and relaxed, but still have a cutting edge to the cooking. Then you taking over from Christian, what's the story behind that? Christian. Uh, you know, he has really big visions and we kind of were able to start that here at Relay together and then all these things came into the picture and he wanted to form what we call the Relay community. And we have so many aspects, of course we have the different sister restaurants, we have our bakery, we started importing wines and then the big key factor was kind of pursuing our farm. So in order for us to kind of set up the logistics and the produce and grow new vegetables and have it used in the best way, it needed Christian to kind of have the space to know that the restaurants, especially Relay, was uh, being looked after in order for him to bring us forward in the next chapter. And with Relay being always about produce, that was where we could start being innovative and being ahead is if he was be able to plan that, you know, now he's 
to be able to grow the vegetables, to try the varieties, and even in the fields he already knows like this is perfect for Relay or this is what's going to be great for more abundance at Manfred's or this will be great for a pizza at Based. And there's no one that's going to be able to do that more clear than him. So in that sense, he kind of had to get out of the daily uh, responsibility of Relay. And luckily, I got that amazing job. And because we started together right from the beginning, you know, we walked into this place when there was nothing. There wasn't a floor, we didn't have a kitchen, and we built what Relay is, what I feel is a unique cuisine right from the beginning. Now you got your own farm, so you have full control over that. Uh, and you have your suppliers of fish and uh, meat and other things that you need to cook your fantastic uh, food. What are you specifically looking for uh, when finding the right produce or product? Being organically certified, that is usually the first priority, is that the animals or the vegetables is organically grown or raised, because that is the agreement we have with our guests. So it needs to be organic certified, and we look at things to be local, so all the vegetables and all the main meats and proteins are from Denmark, or sometimes we get some things from Sweden, but we wanted to keep it within uh, range for us. We've been lucky to have suppliers or farmers we've been working with since the very beginning, so we have this really great relationship of knowing they have a great product, but they also have listening to what our needs are, and maybe they grow some vegetables for us, or they try a different feed for the pork, or we also listen to what they notice. Hi, I'm uh, Luca Doninelli, restaurant manager at uh, Relais. And uh, hi, I'm uh, Tobias, sommelier at restaurant Relais. The profile of uh, restaurant Relais, the, the wines, uh, I believe we have to go back to 2010 when uh, Relais started. Uh, our approach was very minimalistic on, on uh, everything, on, on, on wine, on service. And uh, we, I think we kind of figured out that our puristic cooking with uh, little uh, ingredients, uh, top quality ingredients, you, you uh, uh, get through organic biodynamic farming. Uh, that the, it's the same way to go with the wine because they kind of go on the same level and uh, we create symbiosis. So we don't put food and wine, we put them both together and uh, shape something new. And we focus on uh... Uh, certified organic wine for our mostly philosophy in terms of food and wine and uh, of course we try to select to work with a small producer that we like the philosophy or how they work actually on our, on our vineyards and uh, the final result on the bottle of wine that's the most important things and we try to accord to the to the food that we do at uh, I like to call it uh, artisanal wine from small producers uh, low intervention wine and I think these wines are really capable to to transform the grapes, the area, the vintage, and the human as well to, to, to another place. Most of the top restaurants in the world, which you are one of, are focusing on the concept of a no-waste kitchen. What's your take on that? It's fantastic that there is a focus on that. We've been very lucky here because the way we work at Relay, we have Manfred's, our wine bar across the street. It's a little more casual but it shares the same philosophy and in the end the same produce. So I find I am very fortunate because we could get kind of the first pick, you know, we would get a whole animal to share between the two restaurants and we get to decide what cuts to use and then Manfred's will use the more tricky, like more simple cuts or more longer cooking time cuts. Uh, but like looking at a vegetable is the same way. We can use a certain part of the leek you know, we could be very picky, use the bottom part of the leaf because it's juicy, mm -hmm. and then Manfred's could take the top. Uh, now you're into your ninth year, almost ten year here, uh, at this fantastic street with uh, your sister restaurant just across the street. Uh, Christian and yourself has uh, developed Relais uh, with your own farm and uh, your special way of working, and you're very conscious about sustainability and things like that. Uh, now you got your one Michelin star, uh, uh, always packed with people here. Uh, so where will you go from now? We've never had 
like set out loud these specific goals. You know, we didn't we didn't think we would be a mission type restaurant, and, and then that came, and all these different alkalides came. And I think the key thing is we are always just about believing in what we do and kind of just continue to move forward. So I don't think there's a specific goal. Naturally, the food and the experience at Relay continues to evolve and that's my job and that's what I want to keep pushing forward. And I think what's more the big picture for Christian and I is we're developing this Relay community is how we, uh, of course, connect our restaurants and able to use our restaurants for people to kind of see what we believe in in terms of agriculture, in terms of organic sustainability. And the product is people coming to eat our food, but by having a bigger vision, we wanted to reach it out further than that. We can do cutting edge food, we can still be organic, we can be affordable, we can be with the seasons and local, and hopefully that can transition to a bigger feeling into maybe people's homes and into people's personal decisions. So Jonathan, if you were to give an advice to a young person that wants to become a chef like yourself, what would that be? Find a place that you could commit yourself to and choose to really develop with the restaurant. Find a place that is in the process of growing because that will just lead you to have to push yourselves to learn more and at the same time the result will be more opportunities and then from there it's up to yourself. Mm -hmm.